I have a feeling you guys don't like the word Afro House. Are you serious, brother? Look at me. I'm Afro House. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I Afro House music has taken over the world. Four legends discuss the question. Is Afro House a trend or here to stay? We're here live at Amsterdam Dance Event with Sunry James. And Ryan Michano. I'm Frank Fala. I go by the name of MMA. You had Dennis Ferreira, you had like Pablo Fierro already, yeah, yeah. Black Coffee was already there, yeah. and you had Manu, and it was wow. all like house music, yes. but in an African way. So you okay. have like the old school DJ approach, exactly. and that's, these days that's becoming more and more rare, you know? Now everybody's really more narrow, and folks like, I do this, and I'm, exactly. these artists support me, and you guys just did what felt right. This is exactly my point, because True. it's not a game, it's not a trend. This yeah. is what was like happening in the town townships back there, mm -hmm. you know? Yo, there's, there's a sense of respect that I have because for them it's culture. Maybe let's call it Afro House now. Do you think it's gonna influence the mainstream music? Okay, so the other day... Hey, we're here live at Amsterdam Dance Event with Sunry James. And Ryan Michano. And All Access Podcast with uh, future legends, maybe in some case already legends, Ameme and Frank Fala. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Brothers. Yes, yeah. so who wants to introduce himself first? Where we go? Please, you, you go ahead. first. Yeah, yeah, my guy, that's... Uh, I'm Frank Fala from Amsterdam. Um, I just got started, really. So like, you guys are like, huh? Way further down the line, but like, uh, for me, it just started. I did Yamora this summer. Uh, we know, we know. Which did okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it opened a lot of doors. So like, this shit is all new to me, but I love it uh, so far. Going to start touring now and... Uh, uh, we of course have a new collab coming up, so really excited about that one. That one doing yeah, a lot of press this it. week. Yeah. So uh, that's it for now. And right. I'm member. I mean, I can call you. You're already a legend, don't I? No, no. In some please, in some please. areas, you're no, already no, 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 no. introduce yourself. Introduce Listen, yourself. for me, it's a never-ending journey, brother. I love to hear that. You know, you never learn. You never stop learning. You never stop evolving. So. But I for the people, it, in case they don't know you yet, who are you? Where you? Where? Where? Who is so Ameme? So I go by the name of Ameme. I was born in Benin. It's in West Africa. For most people that don't know it, um, became a man in New York, and I'm currently moving in between Berlin during the summer, mostly, and uh, Europe. Uh, sorry, and New York. Um, I make music. I play music, and. Yeah, I'm not gonna dive into the whole like Afro thing yet because I know we have you, something you to discuss. You can't wait for you know to <laughs> jump on that one. So, <laughs> but you know, I love, I love, I uh, I'm one of the champions of uh, you know what people like to call Afro house, but Afro house is such a big word these days. I feel like in some ways, I can use that sentence lighter than a lot of other people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm very also careful with this because we are living in a like rapidly changing environment and you know you just have to learn how to adapt and fit into it because that's just the, the world you know yeah, today you can say this and tomorrow it's your band it, yeah so. I, I have a feeling you guys don't like the word Afro house no, we love oh, it. No, 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 I mean, it's a, are you serious, brother? Look at me. I'm out of house. <laughs> I, 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 know, I don't know. I feel something. You know, I'm across this side of the table. I feel like there's something burning. You know, no, we're going to go house. deep into this. But let's, let's first start things first. I, I mean, we all love house music in general here, you know? So maybe, Frank, you can tell me which song. I mean, every, every DJ, every artist, they have like this one song that inspires you to dive deeper in, in dance music, house music, or maybe even producing or playing it so what song stands out for you um we kind of got asked the same question yesterday i didn't have to answer them but um i think for me it's difficult to pinpoint one track but mm -hmm. for me like the old school kind of music uh, shit so like the the more groovy uh it was afro with also really house influence so less uh, no piano no mm -hmm. really breakdown just grooves for nine minutes like i play that shit so much and that like that gets me every time um and just like the focus on like the small elements and small changes and so all way more minimalistic. Mm -hmm. um, so that like the old school Afro House flow really gets me going still and inspires me more than the new shit does, I think, in a way. Okay, you need to name one name. One name. Uh, I'm going to go with um, Purple by Emmy. One of wow. the nice. earliest wow. ones on uh, nice. one of the early ones on kind of music. Wow. And you can set something, you can see, you consider the new shit, whether you don't like about a new shit. Well, uh, it's not necessarily that I don't like it, but I think 
a lot of producers that do the like the Afro house sound now, mm-hmm. they all go into the studio with like the same mindset in terms of like arrangement and build up. So everybody has a piano and ding, it goes ding, up and then ding, 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 the D-tune plug, you know, <laughs> and it all, all sounds sound really similar, you know, yeah. so like, uh, I think that's getting more and more. So uh, it's more difficult to really stay fresh within the new Afro house genre. Yeah. Um, but for me, the Afro House is way more broad than just like the the ting ting, you know. Like oh, it is. If yeah, we're gonna my... go. We're gonna go dig deeper, deeper in that. Keep that in mind because that's where I want to go towards too. Actually, because I think we have a lot of to discuss about about the Afro House really? genre in general. But yeah. what song made you fall in love with with uh, house music? Honestly, for me, I, I can't even remember if it's a song. I remember my brother had to drill house music into my head. You know, because I remember I was born and raised in West Africa. Yeah. House music is not a thing. There. No. You know, so um, I grew up with African music. I Like Congolese music was like back then, like. What so you basically you had no one to look up to when I was growing up. Yeah. No, it was uh, uh, African music. It was hip hop music and it was uh, French rap. You know, wow. So that's what I grew up with. Special, you know. And then you, you have like maybe some of those records that would break the boundaries and go international. Kind of like I like to move him. It's like yeah, so yeah, you want yeah. some of those big records like that would get on TV. Like, but you know what? It would be on TV, but it would be like, oh, this is what like people in Europe listen to. Exactly. Kind of thing, you know? But it has to be but, one song of particular because you like but, but exactly. So yeah. let me tell you how I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. I really got exposed to it because. So I did music and theater when I was six. Uh, when I was in high school, I was in a rap band. I was I was doing rap with my brother. <laughs> what? Oh, Out of videos? Out of videos? Bro, we were bro, we were doing rap. We were like we were like on national competitions. We won, and we were like uh, opening for like major international. Oh acts. shit! You kidding me? When I was 15, 16, bro. Oh. So, um, back then, when my brother went to France and to study, he discovered house music. Ah. And he came back in summer, right? And you know how it is in like an African household, like the older brother has all the rights. Yeah. He, he, gets, <laughs> get he gets to put the music. I, I was, he, gets to, <laughs> he gets to sit in front of the car, right? You know what I'm saying? So, I was, yes, so I was like, the older brother. Yeah, yeah, I was the older brother. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, bro, he came, boom. He's like, all right, guys, this is the music we're going to listen to now in the house. Bro, like the whole summer, three months of like, yeah, no, like yeah, no you know what I'm saying? I had no choice. Yeah. And by the end, when, when he left, he was like, man, you know what? I give you my CDs, you know? And I was like, ah, oh, bro, thank you so much. But, but what kind of music did he come back It with? was like progressive house, like, you know, like this like French house, you know, a lot of like David Vendetta, like oh, yeah. Cosa Nostra, oh, like, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, back yeah. in the days, like all those things, you know? Yeah, heavy bass lines. Yeah, then, yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 um, and crazy because I started listening to it, just looking for the nostalgia of like the moments with my brother. You know, oh, so even when nice. he left, I was like, I wake up in the morning and I would listen to it because, you know, I was like 16, 17 this and like, brother, yeah, like, it's like, he's bro, he's like one year and a half older than me. Like we're like super close, you know? Yeah. So, um, but when I moved to New York, because you gotta understand, we don't have like, like if you go to Berlin, like growing up, there was no like a, a best buy where I can just go and buy CDs and stuff like that. No, then I get to New York and then like, dude, there's like, Options I can just walk into somewhere and like buy a CD and, and like go Exploring listen to music. listen to yeah, all the CDs yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh nice. So I started looking for it. I started looking for it and I got really hungry for it. Mm-hmm. And I went to the Pink Elephants in New York. I was sick. And I was like, yeah. and I was, I think I was 19. I was like, this okay, is, this is what I want to do. So basically a club and the whole movement got you inspired to exactly. Do, it wasn't yeah, yeah. like about like a track or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the whole Afro thing came way later. There's a, this is why I always tell people like it's like like my story or about with Afro House is not a generic. It's like a, if I compare myself to like some of the South African guys, right? Like, like, like they were born with it, you know. Like mm-hmm. in, in South Africa, like house is a thing, and they, and they don't put the label of Afro House. On you, know, it. you know what I'm saying? It's like it's, it's yeah. like it's Still, culture. The, yeah. it's, Europe I did have like a Latin. Thing. Yeah, but they, but called it was, it, they called it Deep House back then. Yeah, yeah. but it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like yeah. uh, it wasn't also so much like subgenre in between. Like it was more. It was, it was bigger. Yeah, it was yeah. bigger brackets. Oh yeah. 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 Then 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 after you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And so like for me later on, like my brother again calls me one day, be like, "Bro, man, there's this guy called Black Coffee. You should check him out." Because he saw that like I like yeah, I, yeah, I was really yeah, getting yeah, into yeah. this DJ thing, and I was like, "Oh, really? What, what the hell is he talking about?" So I started, 
And when I when I when I started doing my research and I heard the sound, it just felt very natural to me. Mm-hmm. Because it was more drums, it was more of like course. you know those like spiritual, uh, vocal, uplifting things. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "This, this is my sound." Okay, this you coffee know? inspired you. Yeah, but yeah, nice. It's fun because yeah. we, when we started, coffee was already there, and coffee did it for a long time. We're talking about black coffee, of course. Yeah. Uh, okay, that guy put that sound. Let's say how we call it now, Afro House, on the map, right? Yeah, on the worldwide stage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there was there was the music was there before. You, you know. know that he in particular hates that name Afro House. You know that, right? I mean, I can't speak for yeah. the man, but we do. We also hate. No, he doesn't hate it, but he he does. He feels like it is a misinterpretation because he considers because himself you know what? House he, loves, music. he loves music. Yeah, yeah he's, exactly. a, he's 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 all about music. Why, why is that for so many people that there's like this stigma around to the? No, you don't no, understand. No, 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 okay, 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 okay. Let yeah. me let me explain this to you. You gotta understand the 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 word Afro House is. A heavy word, because you gotta understand. There's also culture. There's also yeah. connected to it, you know. And it's a it's a it's a it's a deep conversation that mm-hmm. we might not have for enough me, time for today. Yeah, exactly. Let's but, go. But let's tell you, you gotta understand that you know there's there's a lot of different layers to it. So like I did this interview yesterday, and I was talking because there was a couple of South African guys there, and I have so much respect for these guys because bro, like they've championed the sounds for yeah for a long time exactly. like the sound like a lot of these things come from there shaping it you know for like shaping it for a long yeah, time yeah, yeah. so it's like for them it's not like it's not a game it's not a trend it's like they grew up with this like the this, this, this yeah. is what was like happening in the town townships back there mm-hmm. you know so it's like for me to come and be like i yeah, i'm african but it's like yo there's there's a sense of respect that i have because for them is culture. Like for me, I, I feel it. Like, you know, it's it's like, it's it's, it's, it's an extension of me, but for them, I, I have respect that. So imagine like, you know, the levels to these things, you know? Mm-hmm. So. But actually, actually, to be honest, you're not even like Afro house. I'm a hybrid. You have of, a big tech I'm a, side. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a hybrid, but this is where I wanted to go because for me, let me do something. And I always say this to people, right? I don't need to open my mouth. I don't need to play music to be Afro House. No, I'm Afro House. Yeah, yeah. it's very simple. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't deep. It doesn't. It, it doesn't matter how far left, how far right I go. It's in my database. It's in my. It's in my essence. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But the, and you know what? I can get away with that. You see what I'm saying? This is this is what I'm saying. I know where you want to go. It, with. It, it's like what? someone else that might that might not have like you know the same specifications might be trapped into a yeah. certain box. That's what I'm telling you. It's a it's a complex conversation. That's from this side. I get that. That's a really deep conversation. We can do like another 10 episodes of this. Yeah, maybe with other cameras. But if we strip it down to the fact where I'm saying what I mean with Afro House, for me, it's all house music. When we started, you had Dennis Ferrer, you had like Pablo Fierro already, yeah, yeah. Black Coffee was already there, yeah. you had Manu. Yeah. Ooh. And it was wow. all like house music for you, yes. but in an African way. It was not, yeah. and then, I, then we played Latin music as well, Latin house, yeah, but is course. it Latin house? It's house music. Yeah. So I think we, I always had like a, 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 a sort of like strange feeling with putting too many labels yeah, on that. But you know what, it works. Music, so it this, is the world, this is the world we live in. Yeah. Like people wanna, People want to have a sense of identity, mm-hmm. and um, but how do you consider you know, yourself? Afro house, melodic house, deep house. How do you consider yourself? I'm gonna tell you something, bro. I'm MS sound. I'm MS sound. Right? I, exactly. That's what I said. I say I'm MS sound, but the reality is that like the base and the essence of I'm MS sound is Afro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta understand. For me, this music thing is not just playing a couple of games, playing a couple of buttons, man. I grew up with African I music. I feel you. Like my family is embedded. In music, you. like you know, like my, you know, like we were connected to the Kutis, like we did, like you know what I'm saying, like it's like my culture is is built on sound and drums, mm-hmm. you know, the rituals, the you know, the ceremonies, you know, it's like I like I don't like this is very natural to me, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's who you are, and so who you represent. Uh, yeah. so like yeah, it's I, I that I, in that sense, yeah, there's a sense of identity and but, co- like and co- so go ahead, sorry. but at the same time, I feel okay. We don't have to be too uh, too negative on everyone. No, it's go ahead, also please. like um, a recognition, acknowledgement in some yeah. way. I yeah. mean, maybe. From Africa, from South African perspective, it's like, yo, what are you talking about, Afro House? But in a certain way, it's an acknowledgement also for that sound and that it's accepted in a, in a way. Yeah. I think. So how do you look at that, Frank? Um, because is it hard for you to say, okay, what do I say? Can I say something about Afro House? Because we talk about cultural things now, or you you still see it as a positive? 
Like, yeah, like I still don't know if I'm like really Afro house, you know, like I think I'm circling in between like exactly. Afro and melodic and house. And I think for me, the magic is in between, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think long-term, I'm not going to do only Afro stuff, but I'm going to do some some other stuff Amen. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and listen, there shouldn't be limited. I truly believe in no limitation. And that's what I say, just to answer your question, you're right. I, I don't think I'm like the purest form of Afro. Like I'm very... And I always say this, my, my goal, even with my label, One Tribe, is to create a bridge in between the Afro world and everything else. Exactly. Yeah. Like I'm talking to drum and bass artists right now. Like, for me, amazing, like, amazing. Sure, like you might, you amazing, might, man. you know what I'm saying? There's like, there's, but you would, when you hear it, you really hear the drums. You would yeah. know like, all right, I'm a miss song was there, you know? So yeah. that's why we probably felt like, okay, this guy's family. Yeah. You know, we were like, you know we were playing all these yeah. tracks, you know, we were like, wow, you know, you have a different vision yeah. and that's what we loved about you. But you for know? me, as I said Thank this you. morning, with me, your sound for me, it's way more fusion of also like the tech stuff and house stuff. So it doesn't sound the same mm. same way like all the Afro stuff right now is sounding, you know, like the, the grooves are way more upfront, the energy is higher, you know? So I think it's like an own sauce to like, a similar approach, yeah. you know? And I think in terms of like sustainability, that's for the long approach. That's that's the yeah. way how you keep your brand going, even though, of course, the, the, the Afro movement is really peaking right now, you yeah. know, with, with black coffee and kind of music. Yeah. But I think you found like your own way in that. And that's even if the rest go down, you have your own like, you know. But if you, if you go way back in the strictly rhythm time, yeah, with the bass lines, I mean, you, if, if, they already were there with a mindset with a call that sound Afro House because back in then you had all those drummy tracks that Eric Murillo was playing, yeah, kind yeah, of dope, yeah. Masters' work. But you, you know what's crazy though? Like, yeah. I'll tell you something, like, there was a time where, like, when I was listening to, like, I used to say when EDM used to be cool. <laughs> 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 no, really. But it's crazy because, but the thing is, like, I remember when I was looking at, like, like Sensation White videos or, like, even the Tomorrowland videos, mm. and I would hear everybody else. And I'll hear you. It's funny. And I was not even thinking about becoming a DJ then, right? When I will hear your music, I'll be like, I will, I'll be like, I'll feel something, you know, because of the the drive and the the the, the, yeah. the I will love the drums. So and it's crazy yeah. because when we met, we finally met. I went back into your catalog and I I I, I spent like some time yeah, yeah. listening to your music, right? And I was like, oh, okay, it makes sense. Yeah, it connects. And you we, we've been through, I mean, been the scene for like 15 years now. I think we tra traveling for over 15 years, uh, finally. I think 20 years ago when we start collecting, diving deeper in that and, and music, it's all, it was all about feelings. We didn't, weren't looking for Afro or for uh, like uh, progressive, it was just what we felt. Yeah. And to, to translate that in your set, that's what we're doing because we're not really focusing on releasing music back then. You yeah. had the DJs and you had the producers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were on the DJ side. Yeah. So you had to create your sound and your signature. Like And back then we had the same uh, problem because they were saying, they're telling us like, oh, you guys play Latin house. Latin house. No, 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 we play yeah. house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you have like the old school DJ approach. Exactly. And that's, these days that's becoming more and more rare. You know, now everybody's really more narrow and folks like I do this and I'm, exactly. these artists support me and you guys just did what felt right. We're like, fuck it, you know, if it's progressive or this Latin. Is, honestly, or, this, is, this is exactly my point because true. this is where like, I, I tell you something like for me, it was always, it was never about being on an Afro house table. No. You know, and I think this is this also maybe this is also the yeah, same here. We, we, this, we were, this also will help me out as, yeah. as well because it, it really allowed me to separate myself from from like a big group of people mm -hmm. and just tap into other wells, you know, and just like not necessarily trying to follow the you know the common. I love to hear that. I mean, yeah. I, I still want to know, uh, Frank, because we, we when did you start producing? What in, what inspired you to start producing? Well, I think I started like ten years ago. Mm -hmm. I think I did it on like a Bluetooth speaker. I didn't really understand that the, the nice. shit didn't work, but like, okay. We, we all did that. <laughs> we all did okay, that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think like I started like really at like EDM and I was watching like uh, yours Park and Dimitri Vegas yeah, like yeah, Mike yeah, and all yeah, the, the yeah. Tomorrowland main stage videos, yeah. you know? Um, and at some point that shifted more towards like the melodic and like the techno stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's when it really got to me at the time I started going to parties in Amsterdam, you know? Um, so I think that really fueled the fire moving to Amsterdam and seeing like how the, the scene is here and like how everybody's involved and like that really got me started. And from that point, it like I, I didn't stop anymore. For then it was just clear to me, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Beautiful. And Beautiful. it took a while. Uh, I've like been searching like soundwise for a long time, mm. but I think now I'm more at peace. And I, what I just said, like 
I used to be also one of those guys who was really focused on, okay, I want to get to those labels and these arts have to yeah, support yeah, me. Yeah, so yeah, really yeah, yeah. narrow-minded in terms of the way I was producing. And now uh, that's also uh, Mao P, my good friends, always telling me like, if it works, it works, you know? Like don't, don't bother thinking about mm -hmm. like these, Huh? Now, if you feel if, it here, if you feel it, then then just go for then it. that's it. And so I kind of let everything else go and started making music way more from the heart and just what I felt like doing. And uh, since and then, things are kicking off for you right now. Yeah. Huh? And you guys are. Uh, <laughs> you do, can smile. You can. Uh, <laughs> 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 and you guys, your new track. What can we expect from this record, guys? I'm very excited because I hear you. Working in the studio also on yeah. some projects, which I really love, which is different from uh, yeah. Yamore also. I know with you cooking. What's going on, guys? You start. Listen, I, I was, uh, I mean, I took a little break from releasing music, you know, this summer. I took a little break from releasing music this summer. And, um, you know, I was honestly not expecting to get back to kind of like, you know, get on with anybody. So, and I got approached by a very special individual that sold me a project, a possibility to jump on a project. And um, man, when I opened the project, I first heard the guitar and I was like, all right, we got something. You know, it needed uh, some extra, I mean, made juice on top of it. <laughs> as you know, as you know how I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, like we did a couple of back and forths. It was very, very smooth. It was very, very natural, you know, to, to work with him. Um, and, but it was very meticulous at the end, you know, it was like eh, a little bit more, this, a little bit more that. I was, I was in the studio works. and I thought like, we're there, you know, we're done. And no, he was not. like, he was like, I think in Berlin and he was texting me, okay this i need this so i bounce it again and he did it like 12 or 13 times in yes, one day and works. at some point i was like bro, i love that bro. Bro. I, 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 I need one db more on the snare i was like okay okay that, we kept on going but in the end it was worth it like at some yeah. point i was like this fucking so he, right. he was right was he right he or? was right in yeah, the yeah, end yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of our process in the studio yeah you know oh so God. but yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but i tell you something like the guitar has such a like spiritual and emotional force that when you add the vocals and the groove to it, it's uh, it's an infectious track, and I can't wait for everybody else to have it. And so, I mean, so far we're already getting like a lot of really good feedbacks, and yeah. and uh, I can't wait to. Burn yeah, it. yeah, 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 no, it's uh, it's gonna. But be now good. it's finished. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you didn't get yeah, the yeah. I think the high end was a little low. <laughs> 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 you never know. No. How how was it to collab? You knew him already. No, I didn't like, uh, but a lot of my friends did and my management already met him. So everybody was like, yo, it's such a cool guy. Yeah. So uh, I think then Sonna from Amada reached out to him. Oh yeah. Um, and as, as he said, like from that point on, it was really natural. I think we did like two back and forth with like the project and then one day of like uh, yeah. the small adjustments and that was done. So uh, it was like for me, the easiest collab I did, did so far. Yeah. Nice. Boom. No, no, it, it, sorry, go ahead. no, no, go, say, 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 say. No, I mean, um, just like you said it it's uh it was it was it was um very very it, it's funny because I, I was just telling him right it's like for me when i work with someone i also need to know that like i like the aspect that like after a collaboration you create a relationship with someone you know yeah. like i've had a lot of opportunity yeah. to work with people that i and i said no because i didn't feel the energy, the energy i feel you. and i was like no this is not for me you know good Important, so, very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also before you accepted, like uh, you were a little bit hesitant at first yeah. because you didn't know if you were going to commit, like you had to commit 100% to yeah. do it or no, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's when I heard that from Sonne, like he doesn't know if he has the time now and this and that. When he, and that's when I when I heard that, I was like, okay, that's mm. my guy, you know? It's nice. like 100% or not, but sometimes you have to like a collab and people do a couple of adjustments and they don't do the promo, you know? And like, it's just just flat yeah, and silent yeah. from there. Like no. th that when shit I mean, doesn't I mean work. That. So that's exactly what we wanted uh, in in that way. So like, I'm really happy that in the end you came to your senses, but- uh, see, Here we go, oh, here we go. You came to <laughs> no, your senses. No, no. Oh, wow. So let's talk about, I mean, uh, last question, I think, maybe two more. The well, Let's call it Alpha House now. Mm. Um, do you think, it's gonna influence the mainstream music, so the oh, pop yeah. music oh, it, a lot. It, it already, yeah, okay. but like on the next level. Let like, me let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm like I'm a I'm an inspector, mm -hmm. right? I mm -hmm. move around. I go mm -hmm. places that okay. So 
the other day I was, I went to New York and I went to have dinner with one of my friends, right? And he invited me into like a very commercial place that mm -hmm. I would never go to, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Bagatelle style. Oh, we know Bagatelle, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And what they play the music. We know the music, music yeah, they yeah, play yeah, traditionally yeah. there. They, they play the same music as the CDs from France. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> right? right? But you know what's crazy? You know what type of music they play now? All the Afro edits. Yeah. This is, I did something. This is becoming the new. Yeah. I hear the Taylor EDM. Swift. Is it, it's good. Yeah, Afro they, yeah. edit. I was like, Listen, Ken music is playing Shakira, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. It's Ed, okay. At Sheeran, so, I heard at Sheeran last week. Exactly. I was like, bro, bro, so bro, at the same bro. time, and so, then we, we, we uh, got someone to move. This, this I want to know this thing. about you guys. You think the authenticity of of what we're doing right now with this sound? We don't want to. You don't love to call it Afro House, but it's called Afro House. No, it's Afro House. It's gonna. It's, it is Afro House. It got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can okay. we keep the authenticity? Can we keep it? But you know what's crazy? Everybody's freaking out, but this is just the way the, the world exactly. works. And yeah. this is how exactly. it has always worked Amen. in the world. Yeah. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So it's like, it's transformation and uh, you have to adapt. And at the end of the day, it's good for all of us. I feel so. You yeah. know why? Because it's more light yeah. Yeah. on the parts. And, and what's going to happen is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and what's going to happen is that a lot more people would, uh, are jumping into the sound. Like a lot of people, and a lot more people are listening to the sound and they would, there are people that would di dive deeper into the sound and look for like, you know, the history of the sound that would, and they would look for more stuff. So it's, I tell you something, it's, it could be annoying at time for like the originals, for the purists yeah. and stuff like that. But at the end, I think it's a good, it's a, it's a positive thing for all of us because it's shining more light on us. For sure, yeah. 100%. For sure, amen, 100%. amen to that. Yeah. It's, 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 it's always been like that people need to put a label onto it, you know, yeah. Yeah. put the label to it and yeah. And the label's just gonna get broader now. Yeah. So yeah, back in the day where you had like Coffee and Shims on, that was like Afro House, mm -hmm. and now you have all the commercial edits and things and the, just uh, the term Afro House is gonna get more like broader. Yeah. It's the same thing with house music. House music is now like a collection of all these subgenres exactly. and niche, and that's not really a bad thing. That's just the way something works when it gets more and more steam, when it gets more spoken. Exactly. More popular, right? you can Always. see you can see it on splice already i mean i think 10 years ago if you were searching for afro house music at 20 samples yeah, and now you have like 200,000 yeah. samples yeah. Yeah. that's true and then the last question for you both because you guys are like like you're already coming up a lot of people know you in the dance scene you're an expector so i'm looking at you who's the next artist in this side genre we have to uh, look at who's coming up, a young artist, you don't know about, maybe you're the inspector, you told yourself, you're the inspector. So inspector, tell me who's the next one coming up. Wow, you should have given me like a heads up. Bro. <laughs> oh, you're the inspector, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know one, like uh, a young kid, you think uh, he's coming up and you should, yeah, we should look mm. at a guy coming up, girl coming up, I don't know. Well, I kind of have like a lot of faith in uh, Benja, mm -hmm. the guy I did uh, Yamor yeah, with. Mm -hmm. uh, he's Why? a lot of like um, his approach, like the Afro sound is, is different than others uh, others have. So like he's going a little bit more like the organic Bedouin sound, but like he doesn't try to copy like the same stuff everybody else does. And for me, it has more like uh, often authenticity, like mm -hmm. the new new stuff he's doing. So like it's for me, it's a gut feeling thing, you okay. know. So I can't really I place mean, it yet, but like yeah. I think one one person that people should look out for is uh, Alex One actually. Alex One, I yeah, agree. I agree. and he's very he has a very strong team. He's a really good producer. He's consistent. He's, you know, and uh, he's uh, because you gotta understand this game is a game of it's like the Olympics, right? They have there's a lot of different category, and I think the challenge with a lot of people is that like they either too good in one part and everything else lacks, right? Yeah. You have the music. You have the profile, you have, you know, style, lifestyle, and everything else that goes along with it. Yes. And you also have to understand that as much as you have um, a public, like the like the, the outside public, you also have the industry public. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how are you navigating the industry? Like how, like you know, the friends that you're making, the cosigns that you're making, it does a lot for you as well growing your profile to the perception of oh yeah for yeah, sure yeah. within the industry itself yeah, you know yeah, because yeah. that it goes it goes a long way so a lot of artists usually kind of like you know so i'm 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 really looking forward to see who's going to be able to kind of like balance most of those things at the same time yeah and that's yeah. where we will see okay this is going to be the next so one so you say the talent to have talent only 
it's not gonna bring it to the level where no, you're gonna be. Impossible. Exactly. Yeah. Not these days. Not these days. Yeah, no. a lot of things. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But for you, it's also really going fast now. You know, big hit. Yeah, it's it's a little bit overwhelming actually. Yeah. So like, also the press stuff is new to me, and like getting the show. So like, I think a half a year ago before Yamoto was released, like I didn't have like anything. And of course, mm. you guys saw me in the studio like a lot, and I was yeah. working, working my ass off. But like at some point, like nothing is really happening. So at some point, you're like, okay, I don't yeah. know. But then it's like start picking up steam, and it went so fast from there on. And uh, hard work so, pays off. Yeah, in the end, in the end, I guess. So like, uh, I never really lost lost sight of that. But like at some point, you. you so you get like this this doubt in your mind, you know, like that gives you energy, right? To, now uh, like the, to get like the reassurance from like the the scene and the people around you, the people that know their shit, like when you're doing you're doing okay, you know, mm -hmm. that like gives me more drive than exactly. anything else could. Well, you know? I remember just touch you, so now you're good. <laughs> now, now, now you're good. <laughs> now you're done. <laughs> <laughs> this guy <laughs> no. wants to get me in trouble. <laughs> so what's the, what's uh, what's come up, come up for you this week? What are you gonna do? You can still have some parties going. Uh, I've, a I've, lot. Uh, I've retired from parties. Yeah, I've been sober for two years, bro. Why are you lying, Phil? <laughs> sober for two years? One year, nine months. Uh, see, see. See? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I see it. I mean, you guys, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of you. You remember both. you and I, we were in Mykonos, we were talking about those things. I know. Brother, I, know. I, I, I know. took these things seriously. Good. Yeah. No, like, uh, and it changed my whole, like, uh, perspective and... Uh, but what should we know about what Amem is cooking now for us? Like, besides the big release together with Frank? I mean, Amem has... Uh, so I left my, my management. Oh. Yeah. Um, and I'm transitioning into a new management. So taking interviews, taking meetings. So there's a lot of shifts that are happening around, but only for the good because good for you. Good for you. Um, things are really moving the way I want them to move now. Nice. And, Was it um, tough to make the decision? Yeah, very tough. Mm -hmm. Because my, I mean, listen, I still, I'm mean, shout out to my old team, mm -hmm. all love, you know, they were like family, but sometimes you just have to make difficult decisions right. to get what, you know, what you need to get. And- uh, That feels good. That's yeah, the yeah, yeah, no. But lots, loads of honestly, I've worked on so much music um, the last year, and really, really exciting uh, things coming out next year. So, but guys, it's really nice to hear you guys are killing it. Yeah, I'm you know so what happy. you're doing. You know, you know I'm what you're so doing. It's nice. It's nice. Thank Good you, to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, and you guys keep 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 believing in yourself. Keep doing you. That's Thank very you. important. What are you playing, guys? Why are you? I'm playing uh, Amara at Lagerball today, and I'm playing with Mo Black tomorrow uh, at Social. And then Sunday, I play with Benja uh, at Soul Kitchen, like I think a four hour set. Nice. Full schedule. Full schedule. Uh, tonight, with Gorgon City at Sea Hut. Uh, tomorrow, I'm doing a One Tribe uh, mystery train. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Saturday, we're doing the shelter, uh, One Tribe, see during the day, see 2 p.m. Saturday. Yeah. Are you coming? Of course, my come. brother. Yes. And by the way, we need to get you on for next year. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. He's leaving, so he's done. Yeah. Thank you, Got guys. It. Thank you. <laughs>